Alright, Mitz for my life. Mitz, I hope you are doing well. I wanted to spend some quiet time this morning and swatch out some inks that I received from a very special friend. I am so very thankful to Diana. She sent me this lovely package and I was very shocked to see all these beautiful ink samples. Uh, she packaged them in these small little vials and then put them in some bubble wrap. This is a new kind of filming view and I'm hoping that it will be okay. So I already started with some of the samples that she sent me and I've reserved these ones here uh, so that we can kind of swatch them together. This is just the standard Tomoe River notebook in the A5 size uh, with the dot grid. Just kind of having fun with um, seeing what they look like and I the writing here is done with the JR Benz uh, or the Airben glass dip pen. This one I purchased from Goulet Pens. So I thought, yeah, I thought I would update my little ink inventory that I have in this mini five binder. Uh, let me find the page right here. And I currently use this bank paper, M5 Refill. Uh, this is from Yamamoto Paper. This is bank paper, bank paper. And that's what it looks like. And this is uh, Yamamoto Paper. And I think now that I've started to kind of archive these colors in here, I I don't want to say I regret it, but I do wish that I used Tomoe River paper because I journal most in Tomoe River and that would be the most accurate uh, for me. I mean, it's fun to see the different colors on different pieces of paper, especially the Tono and Limbs one called Trust You. So this is the one I was referring to, the Tono and Limbs Trust You. It's totally purple here. Um, but in the Cosmo Air Light, it's more like a gray. It's so different. Um, but yeah, I should do more testing or I should get some maybe refills, make some refills using Tomoe River paper because that is the paper that I use the most in my Hobonichi uh, Techo. So anyways, this is my current setup. So there's that. I'm going to take off some of the sheets. Uh, they're kind of glued on the side here. And I'm going to one, two, three, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. So I thought I would kind of swatch them with you on camera. This is going to be a very relaxed video. I don't really have much to discuss or much to say, um, but I did want to swatch these with you while I had nice lighting. So I write on an angle, and so I hope this is not um, difficult to see, but there's the Sailor Yozakura, the Kobe Ink Limited Edition Star Ink. Wow, that sounds interesting. There is the Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. I will timestamp everything down below. Uh, Sailor Ocean Blue, uh, right out. Kobe Ink Limited Edition Sunset Clouds. Let's start off with Sailor Yozakura. I have this inked up already in my um, Platinum Plazier right here. Let's just kind of scribble to see if it's any different with the glass pen. Sailor Yoza Kura. And this is in the Platinum Blazier. It's very pretty. I 
I just realized I probably have one already in my little binder here. <laughs> Let's look at the purples. I should probably have one already in here. Yeah, the Sailor Shikiyori Yozakura. Yes, I already have one. So this is a little bit wet, but you see when it dries up, it looks like that. Very, very pretty color. So let's skip that one. <laughs> Sorry. I just realized that, um, well, I have ink on here, so let's do something. I was watching somebody's uh, Zentangle pretty, or uh, ferocious pretty pens or something along those lines. Um, I will leave her channel down below. Um, and I was watching her doing some Zentangle using fountain pen inks and because I was interested in the what is it called the 30 inks 30 day challenge and I don't know I I'm not a huge writer so I I cannot finish up a whole I mean I suppose you don't have to fill up your whole cartridge with ink every day but I'm not a lot of, I'm not a huge writer so I, I cannot imagine you know finishing off a pen in a day so I thought it would be fun to learn these Zentangles. That way you can, yeah, use up your fountain pen inks and also relax at the same time. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but I'm just trying to use up the ink that I have left on this glass dip pen. Alright, so let's move forward to the Kobe Ink Limited Edition Star Ink and see what that looks like. I also have this uh, pen from a calligraphy set that I purchased from Flying Tiger that I use to kind of make a bigger swatch. Oops, there we go. Oh, sorry, this is the Mont Blanc. I took the wrong one. This is the Mont Blanc Coffee Brown. I'm very excited when I saw these Mont Blanc um, inks that she sent me because I don't have any. And before buying like an actual big bottle, I appreciate these smaller samples uh, because I just don't have the space for it, unfortunately, in, in uh, where I live. Toffee Brown. So the next one is the Sailor Ocean Blue.
it's very dark. I wonder if I can write this kanji. <laughs> oh, I don't really know how this one works. Um, let's try it. very dark. I don't see the blue coming through as of yet, but maybe once it dries up it will be a little bit better. But I don't really see. It's very, very dark. So let's take a swatch using that calligraphy pen here. Oh, now I see it's very pretty. Wow. I like doing these swatches because you can see the various colors and uh, different characteristics about the ink but at the same time I'm not this is not how I use the ink I don't um, you know use a big <laughs> calligraphy nib like this I use on a daily basis would be more uh, you know like fine so let's let that dry while I kind of use this excess ink up here You can kind of see the sheening on the rim of the glass bottle. It's very, very pretty. It's very rich and dark. It's a very pretty color. So it's starting to dry up here. You can take a look at that. Let's go for this Kobe Ink Limited Edition Star Ink. It's really pretty.
very soft blue color. It's very pretty. I can see myself using this one very frequently. It's a very, very pretty color. It's not intense at all. It's very soft and I wrote, it's very soft and relaxing, which is very true. I feel like I could probably even like use this um, to color some journal pages in my Hobonichi. It's just so pretty. Anyway, so here's that uh, Kobe Ink Limited Edition Star Ink. It's a very soft color. And then this one here is the Kobe Ink Limited Edition Sunset Clouds. Oh wow, that's very pretty. Let's take a look. It's a very pretty color, but it looks so different on this bank paper as opposed to the Tomoe River paper. This feels or seems more like orange coral, like a light coral peach orange color. And then here it seems a lot more pink on the Tomoe River paper. Anyways, let's do a one of those swatch swatches right here, the swatch square. I feel like it's totally beating up at the top, maybe because I applied some hand cream prior to this video and then I was touching this area. Maybe that's why. Uh, let's see right over here if that makes any difference. Yeah, it's different from here. I think because I was touching this area with my hands and the hand cream must have gotten on the paper there. Wow, that's very interesting. There's like pinks down here and very like peachy color up here. So that's what it looks like close up. You can see the different pinks on the bottom there. That's very interesting. It's a very, very nice color. And like I said, it's different on this pink paper. It's more orangey. Uh, more orange tone and then on the Tomoe River paper it's very much more like a red or blue toned pink color you can see right there so that's the Kobe ink limited edition in the star ink these two are beautiful actually they're all very very pretty colors this is the Kobe ink limited edition star ink close up The Sailor Ocean Blue. This is a very deep, rich, beautiful color. And the Mont Blanc Toffee Brown as well. I'm very, very 
thankful to Diana for providing me with these beautiful ink samples. I'm excited to... Oh, that looks so pretty together. Let me know down below what you think about the kind of setup. If the angle is a bit strange, I will try my best to adjust uh, as best as I can. But yeah, I thought it would be just kind of fun to sit down here and finish these ink swatches and kind of... I'm toying with the idea of trying with the, the challenge, the 30 ink 30 day challenge. Um, I don't know, are you going to be participating? Leave a, let me know down below. I'd love, love to hear your thoughts on that. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye bye.